Hello everybody, so in this video what I'm going to teach you how to do is how to install XAMP on your computer so that you could run a local server. So if you want to test your websites locally or if you want to develop your um, WordPress, uh, WordPress themes and uh, test them out here before they go live, this is how you would do it. You would load it to your local development site by using uh, XAMP. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to download XAMP. So you just go to your uh, uh, search engine and type in XAMP P, and you'll see this first heading XAMP installers from apachefriends.org. Go ahead and click on that link. So it'll bring you to this page and as we can see XAMP stands for X is for the operating system. A stands for Apache. M stands for MySQL. P stands for PHP and the other P stands for Perl. So that's what XAMP is all about. It, it allows you to uh, have your uh, local server up and running once you've installed XAMP. So what we're looking for in this case is the Windows version. So we would go ahead and click on this one here. You can also do it for Linux and uh, also for uh, Apple but uh, or Mac, but I'm gonna be using Windows in this case. So let's go ahead and click on this uh, link right here. Now it, it should start uh, downloading automatically and uh, it, it, it prompts you as to where you want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it here in my downloads folder. And uh, it's going to load it relatively fast here. It says it's going to take 38 seconds. So I'm going to pause it just for a sec. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to get back to you. So the file is now downloaded. It's a large file. It was over 100 megabytes, but it's now downloaded. So let's open it so we can install it. So it's, uh, here we go, it's opening it up. So let's click on next. So you get a number of options here, uh, whether you want MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury Server, Tomcat, Perl. I just leave them all checked, install everything. So we just click on next and it gives you the option as to where to install it. I like to leave it to the C uh, drive. It's easy to find there, but you can change it to somewhere else if you like. But just for ease and for consistency, I always leave it to the C drive and install it to a folder titled XAMP. So we would just leave that as default, but again, you can change it if you want. And this check mark is here, and what basically what this does is if you leave it checked, a pop-up screen will t turn on. I don't really want that, so take it out. Hit next. So now it's ready to begin installing on the computer. Click on next. Now the installation process can be a little long, so I'm going to pause it here and get back to you once it's uh, ready to install. So we've finished installing the that and now we're with this screen here and what it says is um, do you want to start the control panel now? So yes, I do. Click on yes and I click on finish. Then we're brought up with this screen and this is uh, the screen that controls everything. So when you're, um, if you see the screen, it's been installed correctly. So basically to start it, you click on start here for Apache. And then you'll get this security window. Um, and by default, they put a click a check mark for private networks, such as your home network. And if you're installing this on a laptop, you might want to consider clicking this if you take your laptop to airports or coffee shops and you want to do work there. I'm, I'm installing it on a desktop. And even if it was on my laptop, I probably wouldn't install it uh, just because uh, I get a little concerned about security. But you, you can do it. A lot of people do it but I just tend to leave it like this. So then I click allow access for private networks. And then for MySQL, we need that to run the local server. You click on start there as well. And again, you get the same security window and we're going, we wanna do the same thing, allow for private networks such as home or work networks, click allow net access. And um, now you can see they're both running and if you wanted to stop them you would again click on uh, stop and stop and it would stop them from running 
So we want to now just make sure that it's, it's actually there. We want to do a little bit uh, more setup. Uh, we want to go into the, our browser and type in local host. And if everything went well, you will get this screen. And uh, this, if you do get this screen, everything's working good and you're well on your way to having it set up. And so what you want to do is select the language that you're using. In this case, we're using English, so we're going to click on here. And now what we're saying is uh, congratulations. You have su successfully uh, installed XAMPP on this system. Now you can start using Apache and so forth and so forth. But what the first thing we want to do though when we get here is to go onto this, this little thing here, security, click on that. We want to make sure all our security settings are good. So what we can see there is that there are a couple of uh, warnings. It says here that the XAMPP page is accessible by everyone and it's unsecure and MySQL user root has no password and PHP admin is free and it's, ex it's accessible by the network. So we just wanna fix those warnings and to do that, XAMPP provides us with this uh, convenient little link here. So just click on this link that says HTTP localhost security, XAMPP security.php. So go ahead and click on that. So all we really wanna do here is set a, a new password. You can click any password you want here. Um, since it's it's um, my local server, I'm not going to really worry about putting a super safe password. I'm going to then uh, I just put my little password here and click on change password. And the password has been successfully changed. And now what we want to do is put in a user and uh, a password also for the .ht access. I'm just going to click, put the user as root and the password, same thing. I'm not really concerned about uh, too much. And then uh, click on this button here. And now we're all set to go. So what we want to do now is uh, just to make sure everything is working good. We want to go to uh, our... Um, directory here. We want to go to C drive where we installed XAMPP. We want to go to uh, XAMPP here, this folder. And uh, this is where basically everything will get, will get stored. You see my SQL, Perl, all kinds of folders. The folder that we're looking for is htdocs. This is essentially where everything that your website will see is stored. So if you, for example, create a, uh, um, a new folder, let's say I called it my website, that would be your domain. It would be localhost slash my website. So let's just create a, a small little file just to test that everything's working good. So let's go in new and we're gonna create a text document. Let's just call it test, okay? And let's open that. And let's type something in here. So let's click on save. Okay. So what we want to do now is go back here and type in localhost test. TXT and if everything well works well you can see this now see if you can see this your site is working so that means we've set it up the filing system is working well and we're all set to either test uh, our PHP work or what we're gonna do next and the next video is to show you how to install WordPress locally so you can start your uh, local site development and get uh, on your way to changing themes, working with themes, with child themes and so forth, which I'll also show you on uh, future videos. I hope you like this video, so please don't forget to uh, like, don't forget to share, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.